anybody had any doubts or any questions about getting a franchise, I, I would say that I'm the testimony. I've, I've, I've gotten to a brand new house off of selling dogs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Off of selling dogs. I'm going to clear six figures my first year working with Rick. So, I mean, if you did have any doubts, you shouldn't have none, you know? Congratulations on you a little bit for the polio a shot of root beer. Got your food right here. Don't drink too much of that root beer, you're gonna get drunk. Oh. <laughs> this one. I don't know why it's too many. Chop the chop. Let me show you what y'all really want. I want to show you what I want you to pick it, but I know you're not going to pick it. So what are you doing just our first pick? Yep. You got one. Hey, baby, all you got to do is play like this. We got two. Her nipples better than cash hits, for sure, for sure. Everybody latching? No. You see my bubbles. So you're looking at uh, two litters right here. Uh, another uh, litter over there. You know, you got French house in here. Uh, um, he just had two litters, you know. He talking to the got a litter of Frenchies, Karen Isabella. Yeah. And he got a litter off of that uh, female that had those puppies today. He got right a litter here. off the little maid's sister to an El Toro Loco son named Powell. Super thick. I think this first pick came a lot. That's the dog I was about to show you too. Super thick female right here. She got a nice neck, nice head on her. Got another one. This one more smashed than her. She just got a shorter tail. She got a bigger head. She got more smashed muzzle. She got chocolate on her nose. I don't think this one had no. This one don't got chocolate on her nose. But she might end up getting it on her stomach or something. Full of tail. This one got murder on the side of her face. Got a lilac murder. Male right here. Lilac fawn. This one might just be lilac. I think this one's gonna be the same color as. It's a cash right? That's how she used to look. Smaller than that, smart try, come pack back thick, her legs short. And we got one way smaller than that. Oh, yeah. Little teeny tiny female right here. We got some Frenchies. That pin that fluffy. It's a black try man. It's another black trap male right here. Karen Isabella. This one hard. Still so few that female. Her eyes starting to open up today. This one hard too. And that's another girl. I think this one carries up. Mm -hmm. Grab the uh all all that one. I think she might yeah. You know, she down there looking visual. That's what I was gonna say. She might be a fluffy. I'm keeping her. How old is she? They a week old. You got a little bully and a little Frenchie. Okay, that's still something. This is this is the the, the myrtles. One, two, three, four, and five. Those are Frenchy litters. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Those are French. These other eight puppies is out for bully. Ladybag, little mate, sister. So uh, we got a lot of the same genetics right here. My boy does very well at Welping. He got a room inside his house where he got his pool. He got his heat lamp. Got another heat lamp. He got a humidifier. Keep the, uh, the oxygen fresh. 
another heat lamp will come cruise. It's pretty much all you need, you know, to to whip your litter. For the most part. Ladybag pool will be here. It was just a little technical difficulty with Amazon. So in the next two hours, I'll have three pools. I'll probably have it right where you're sitting at, Ace. Hello? Or I'll probably have it around each one. Yeah, who is it? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, I was looking at your videos, man. That's loud. That's loud. Which videos? 30 Ridge or, or this with the Kinos, right? Yeah, this is 30 Ridge. Which videos are you looking at? This I'm looking right now. Well, I'm looking at the one where you went out to uh, this female's house. Some, some lady with the pink. King the, Pinky? Uh, you look, you yes, looking sir. at the King Pinky breeding? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you yeah. reaching out, boss. Yes, sir. I see your number on that shit. Let me check it out. See what's up. Hey, but that's live, man. Hey, I'm barely trying to get into it, so I don't really know. I, I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I, I looked at you. I was like, uh, but I, see. Hey, I also seen the one with you with that uh, with the goat on you, man, and, and that little that little fluffy on there. That's live. You talking about uh, the say cheese interview? Yes, sir. So, so do you got dogs? Now, I got, look, I'm going in house with my cousin. We got, we got this, uh, this, your, this, I can send you pictures of this number? Yeah, send, you can send pictures of this number. Also, um, come out to my festival. I'm having a festival October 29th, bro. I want everybody that, you know, can watch my YouTube videos and come out to the Top Dollar Westmont Festival in Dallas, Texas, October 29th, 2023. Where you, where you from? Yeah, I'm in Austin, Texas. Okay, so it's not too far from you. Um, yeah. go, on go on Instagram and follow Top Dollar West Month Festival. Uh, and I'll, I'll post all updated info about the festival on that page, and I'll meet you there. Yeah, that's live shit. I like, you know, I like to get more knowledge and everything, you know? Well, I got a course, on, I got a course online that shows you how to Inbreed, line breed, well, you know, TCI, AI, progesterone, how to promote your kennel, what to look for, what not to look for, how to keep weight on them, you know, uh, medications to give them, what to feed them, what not to feed them, how to keep them from getting sick, uh, basically on how to run a hands-on, hands-off whole facility, you know, inside, outside, for Frenchies and Bully, how to register, how to do contract, just how to be a professional business when it comes to dog breeding. Yeah, make everything professional. It's just like you. You, you look like you got everything going on track. I've been doing it for a long time, so I put I pretty much wrapped everything up into a course. It's like 90 episodes. You watch it at your own pace. For however long you want, however many times you want. Once you get it, you got it forever. So that that's something you should get. It only costs $1,000 right now. It's on a Black Friday special. Uh, you got you to gotta get your... Um, you gotta get a PayPal in order to get it though. Alright, no, no, that's okay. Hey, I appreciate you though, hey. That's not to see you, uh, thirty minutes. Alright, boss, you got my number, man. Let me chat. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. He 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 had Jim dropped the video two weeks ago. Uh we got my eighty nine thousand. Eighty nine thousand? All your all your friends at school be talking to you, asking you how you know third rich. What they be saying to you, Chris? Did they, did, they know, did they know you before? Did they know you before they got? Yeah. Now when you go to school, they say top dollar kennel. Yeah. Do they, do they, do they be watching your videos? Hmm? Do they be watching your videos? Yeah. Have you ever seen a mirror? Boo? Uh, Charmer? Yeah. You just seen solid code? Yeah. What Until is, I started watching your page. Then you start seeing Then you start seeing different oh, colors. Cool. Just, you know what it is. Uh -huh. What is it? That's it. The chocolate try you want to This one. I want to keep that chocolate try. Why though? That's the one with the dots on the nose. That's the one with just white this one, this one was just regular white nose. I only keep her because she's the most complete one. She girthy and stuff, and she's going to be complete. I feel like that she got the tight skin from her dad. I feel like she's going to be able to throw a lot of puppies like her mom, and she got a full tail. She, she like show ready. Or what the standard is right now, right? What y'all look for is full tail. Mama what? So your mama what? The first day, the first day, 
they was cool and then I don't know after that then they had started getting a little aggressive with each other but they kind of when I let one out they go to the other cage they both come sit right by the door they're ready to get in their uh, pools with their kids all right I'm a uh, French house top dollar kennels we in the French house the new location I've been working closely with 30 since what 2019 or 2020 a couple years. It's been a couple years. Uh, I remember um, I really started off behind the scenes just really welping. A lot of times I don't get in front of the camera. But I've been a part and seen him sell like a lot of big name dogs, for instance. 30 George was at my house for a little bit. And um, I remember him telling me, man, come to this show, come to this show. And I was just like, man, nah, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go. And then next thing I know, I see on uh, Say Cheese, he sold a dog for 50000 Me and him start working together. Um, I was whelped his first uh, full fluffy Frenchie litter. Um, I whelped a uh, cat lady. I had Nova at my house. And it was so crazy. There was a dude who came over to, to the Frenchie house when I was living on the west side. He came over and had money orders. He spent $105,000 on dogs. And that's whenever I knew I was, I was about to join the right business. So um, after my first litter, I made about 50 some thousand with him. Um, we bred my fluffy carrier to LeBron James, and then we, you know, I moved out of Fort Worth into the suburbs. Um, I, last Saturday, I dropped two litters at the same time. I dropped a Frenchie litter, I dropped a, a bully litter, a ladybag litter mate sister, um, Cachette. These are puppies right here. And then I got some uh, Isabella fluffy carriers that's on the ground too. They all in the same pool. We're gonna be working uh, three pools. Uh, you know, in a couple hours, we got uh, lady bags. She was really one of my favorite ones out that litter that they had. And um, yep, this is this is a day in the life of a whelper. So man. he whelped he whelped that litter. He whelped that litter when she was born. Just like we went to the vet and had these puppies, it was the same procedure with her when she was a little bitty puppy. So this dog I raised. You know what I'm saying? When I raised it, I had what. Five, well, how many? Nah, we, you got a lot of dogs you brought to my house. It was, eight. A litter, it was a litter of eight. Um, and I told him from the beginning, I said, you know, it's a big litter. I, 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 it's hard to have big litters like this, so I'm going to keep all the females unless somebody got 20, you know, and I never pushed them to sell them anyway. I just, I liked the dogs, I liked the color, I liked how they was built. I liked the genetics they came from, so I was like, I'm going to just keep them. Keep them, bred them. Having eight, 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 nine, nine, nine. All of them coming out healthy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he told me that she was gonna have a lot of uh, dogs. He asked me if I wanted to uh, comb them with him. And I was like, I immediately was just like, yeah. And I'd be damn. We took her to the vet. We had so many dogs. The vet, uh, I walked out the vet with a hat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she dropped nine puppies for me. And everybody just thought that that was amazing. I was on live with him and he was just telling me, well, I told you, I told you, I told you. And then now we got her over here, she just dropped a big litter as well. So you grab one of the females off of us, you know, um, it's, it's in the blood, it's in, in the genetics to be able to, you know, go ahead and produce for you. And that's what he said he was doing. He said he was breeding them to produce. And he planned on getting a franchise member some dogs. So, you know, if we grab one of them, we could actually, you know, go ahead and make our return on investment back and be able to stock up our yards. That's what everybody try to get. Everybody try to get lilac. They like chocolate, but they try to get lilac. That'd be like the ultimate goal whenever you're dealing with, uh, with, with chocolate, I believe. I know the lilacs cost a little bit more. I would choose the lilac over the chocolate because the lilac will give me more options whenever you get bread. It's the lilac is more harder to make than the chocolate. The lilac is a more, is a, is a more recent color. Yeah, just a chocolate. Do you think you could be doing this every day? Not really for my I'm saying, but do you think there's something that you want to make a living off doing? Yeah. It's cool. Will it seem hard to you? Yeah. And I grew up like a dog, it's like, and then I just grew up, I didn't even know they had color at first, but now that I'm saying they got color, I'm liking them way more. What, the different colors that they throw yeah. So what what have you learned since you, since you have, since you bought, got that dog? I learned that they can throw color. I learned that they. At first, I didn't even know they could have puppies, but now I know. And they had their puppies for that long, but now I know that they have their puppies. Oh, you saying you know the exact amount of time? Exact, exact amount of time that it takes that they can carry yeah. puppies. 
What do you think would have been if she was called pushing out puppies? Yeah. I don't know. I really want to trust that goop. <laughs> you know you're going to see a lot of goo though. So what you going to do then when you see the goo? Oh, like, the goo normal, like when it just regularly come out of her. And like the first, like today is the first time it came out of her. But, like, the goo that's on her puppy that you have to pull off while she's licking it. That's too much goo. So you saying you ain't tripping on a discharge, you tripping on... The goo is on its puppies. Like the when they come the out? Oh, you were talking about the insect. So, are you going to get a pool and some puppy pads and stuff and start feeding them on yourself? I will. I'm going to give him the pool whenever he come pick it up. Because pretty much at two weeks, they're going to start to. After when you come get them, they're going to be about to start walking. And then you're not going to really have to do so much with the mama because you will have that week where they transition and off the mama. You're going to start making mush. Me or 30 going to tell you how to make the mush. They're going to start eating by themselves, and you're going to be able to watch it grow. So the hard part, I'm going to do the hard part for you. And when you get them, you ain't going to have to wake up every two hours and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I had a bed in here before y'all came here, but uh, Rich said the cameraman was coming, so I took the bed out. You know what I'm saying? So everybody could fit in here. So what, when you have the bed, you sleep in here take a bed? Man, I don't want to sleep. I don't want to sleep in here welcoming these puppies. You know what I'm saying? It's a big bag right here. It's a good opportunity. And I mean, you also got to think, when you got one of, the, one of the best breeders in the world, and I'm whelping his puppies, I'm not going to trust nobody else besides me to whelp my own stuff. So I had a bed right here. The first two weeks is really crucial. You got to feed them every two hours. I had my bed. I didn't even have no mattress on there. I just had the box spring so I didn't get too comfortable. I lay right here on the bed. I just got up and just whelped the puppies. So look, you got a 10-year-old breed in here, man. He got uh, some of the hardest dogs to make. I see a lot of people that be in the comments talking negative about these dogs. They can't walk. They can't breathe. Um, they don't even understand what these are right here. This is like a pit bull that's low to the flow with crazy structure, you know. Um, this is way different than a pit bull. A lot of people don't know what these dogs are, you know. They wonder why we like these dogs and they can't even do much. This dog is hard to make, you know what I'm saying? Um, not many dogs look like these. You can go get a, a big guard dog or a big dog and all of them look like big dogs. It's just different, you know, different looks. But you don't got too many different options when it comes to bullying, too different, too many different looks, you know what I'm saying? Your, bu your bully either gonna look like an exotic bully or your, look, your bully gonna look like a pocket or some, 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 some other, uh, uh, something else. It ain't gonna look like that. But when you dealing with exotics, you know, they're very rare, they're very hard to make. That's what make the dog, you know, um, worth so much, you know. And uh, we're going through the process of creating some. We're going through the process of creating some with color and structure. You know, I did this specific breeding for color and structure mixed in one. You, it, it, when you get a, a merle, a trimerle or a lilac trimerle bully, and it's complete with tight skin from front to back, and it look like a real muscle pit bull, that's not normal. That's not you don't you don't see them often. So uh, a lot of people got bullies, you know. They got lilacs, they got chocolates, they got blues with good structure, complete bodies, you know, whatever different genetics. But a lot of people don't have merles. So we in the process of making merle complete bullies, you know what I'm saying, with exotic frames. And I've seen those dogs go for six figures. I've seen the demand for those dogs pick up since I've been breeding them. I'm one of the first ones that started producing lilac trimero you know uh those puppies dad went for 50k and that the dad of those puppies went for 50k so you you're looking at some six figure dogs and they're they're price they're, they're based on that price range because they're very hard to make they're very rare to make when it comes to um the 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 clean style look so you got some that look like bulldogs and you got some that look like american bully now a lot of people got some that look like Bulldogs, because some of the Merle come from Bulldog. And once you got one that actually look like an American bully with um, clean bite, real bull head, clean body like a pit bull with muscle, um, then you're looking at something different. So right now, it's people that's a lot of breeders are trying to make that Merle complete dog look. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was one of the first ones to do it, and I'm still working on creating better ones. You know, he just 
took El Toro Loco, one of the most uh, producing dogs out. He got a son named Power. Um, he's a chocolate merle. He took that merle to her little mate sister. So we're going to show these puppies in about a month or two. We're going to see the difference, which ones look better. You know, we're going to show the different uh, styles of each. You know what I'm saying? See which one threw and how did they throw what. What features did they throw different? What feature um, looks better than the other one? So we can know if we want to do something similar, similar breeding, we'll know which dad to use based off how they threw, how the puppies came out. So it's, this is science right here. You in the lab. You in the lab with a 10-year-old. This is first litter. You know what I'm saying? Um, he got a, a high power breeding. You know, he learned a lot. I'm sure he never seen no pool with some towels in it so they won't lay on their stomach and have a flat chest. And he ain't never seen no heating pad, no heating lamp. He ain't never seen no dogs pretty much lay on their side and whip their own puppies. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he could be out here doing a lot of stuff. His dad put him here, put him here to learn about breeding dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's what we teach him how to breed dogs, how this dog breeding business and how the dog breeding game works, how to create his own look, his own style, learn about different bloods, different genetics. Subscribe to the channel. This is some that you can use later on down the line for other animals you want to breed, you know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much we're going to be getting into the guard dogs in, in a minute, you know, so, so I, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. You know, we show a lot, we do a lot, we're constantly working. Like I said, I just left from South Carolina at the Little Booster Show. I got home at 4 in the morning. Um, I thought the Little was going to drop at 8, but they said it was at 2.30, so I ain't even go home. I went to my mom's house, slept on the couch, thinking I'm going to jump back up. Instead of driving all the way back home, so I ain't really pretty much got got much sleep. This is what I do every day. A lot of people be wanting to see my dogs and tell me why he don't ever show his dogs. My dogs are in motion. They getting bred. They doing breedings. Um, I got so many I can't keep all of them. So a lot of them don't be at my house. I got puppies at his. I got puppies at his house. Go get that King Pinky. A King Pinky breeding that's on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you look on there, it says Third Ridge Breed to the First Pink. In the United States, this is a puppy out here, and um, his mom I come on Chicago for eighty thousand. Um, this not a puppy off that exact breeding that's on the YouTube channel, uh, but it's the same dad, and the mom is a puppy, a puppy that he will. So he will cat lady his mom when she was a puppy, and um, I come on her for eighty, and I bred her. We bred her to uh, King Pink and produce Pink Thirty. So this is a blue and tan carrying a pink. You know what I'm saying? Very girthy, very compact, got good bone. He's, he's starting to grow. You know, he got the, the crystallized. You know, he got the 10 points. Uh, he's maturing. You know, we're going we're gonna to keep him washed up. We're going to keep him clean. We're going to do some professional videos. Do some promo on, on him, you know. This is Pink Clare. You get used to him, you're going to see him. This is a very rare dog. His dad came from the United Kingdom. It was 250000 to get to the United States. He was probably the first tribe murder fluffy that he has produced. And like I said, his mom come from real good genetics. She's one of the smallest uh, Frenchies out. Um, we got a sister in there too. You know, uh, we're just doing a lot of breeding. You know, full fluffy, carrying a pink and a, and a chocolate. So we're gonna try to breed him to some visual pinks or some chocolates carrying pink. Uh, we got big pimp plans for this dog right here. This is art, you're looking at art right here. This is a full fluffy French bulldog carrying pink. It's very interesting when you get into dog breed, when you learn about the genetics, what you can produce. When you see puppies, like he said, he didn't know that these dogs could throw these different colors. So that stuff gets addictive. Once you get to breeding dogs and producing different colors and different looks, you get to chasing different colors and different looks. So, you know, it's some of the best of the best right here. I uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. All of these dogs uh, pretty much will be at the top of the West Mount Festival, October 29, 2023. Mark your calendar down. Uh, top Dollar West Mount Festival on Instagram. You follow that page. We're going to bring out all our dogs. We're going to see Nick there. You're going to see um, Lil Chris there. Uh, hopefully, Nick ain't staring at me the whole time. I'm there. <laughs> this nigga looking at me upside my head when I'm breaking it down. But look, understand what's going on, man. Pink 30. First blue and tan Merle carrying pink and a chocolate. They can't stop it. You sit away, man. Still holding it in one hand, man. He about five months old. How am I holding this? I think they got five months. About five months. So you got him. I got another blue and tan named Austin Powell. He carried it as a builder. Um, we're pretty much going to keep a lot of our uh, production. We're going to try to keep a lot of our production so we can bring a lot to the festival. 
and show y'all a lot of high quality dollars, you know, if y'all on the channel and y'all got questions, you know, or want to be a part of this or whatever, you want to franchise, however you want to do it, you can contact me, I have my number on here, franchise is at 30,000, uh, you know, and you see what you get, you get hands on action, you get some of the best of the best genetics, we're teaching you how to breed these dogs, what to look for, what to do, what not to do. You know, my boy got three litters in here right now. Anybody that has three litters, and they, at one time, they, they got to know what they're doing, or they they going to phone, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Nick been well with a lot of my puppies. Uh, he's a part of Top Dollar Kennels now. So I'll be looking out for him. He produces some of the best genetics, you know, and we're going to keep moving forward. Uh, that right there, what you got in your hand, that is an El Toro Loco grandson. That's El Toro Loco's son. Here to your dog, little mate's sister. He's a lot like Merle. The El Toro Loco blood is some devil's quick blood, which it matures late. You know what I'm saying? That dog is very rare because of the color. There's not many El Toro Loco um, lot like Merle grandkids out in the home. If he, if he become what he's supposed to become, we're going to name him French 30. Full tail. Full tail. Yeah. Nobody believe me. I called Nick, he got one. Little Chris got to get one. Uh, I call on the other one. All of them are having litters of eights, you know. I'm, I kept these dogs for a specific reason. And they doing what they ass with all the damn dogs. They to, you know, and, and, and Flint, little dumbass, I told him, hey Flint, you come over here, you help me clean up, you get any one of these dogs. He snoozed on I me, mean, he thought it was a game. Now I'm dropping eight bags on bag. Nah. It's the beauty of it, right? That's what you want to make. You want to make a complete bull. Head, neck, bowls. You want to make a compact body, compact with a full tail, right? You want the rear to look like that, thick, thick rear. You want the rear to look like it got training wheels on it. Thick rear full tail. And you want your male, you want your female to look like a male. See, this is a female. This is not even a male. You see that compact body on you see the bones, you see the thick rear. She coming in here, she's swelling right now. I just got this dog from South Carolina at the Booster Show. Um, I seen this female when she had her litter four months ago. I had bought an El Toro Loco from a guy named um, Bob. He's from um, South Carolina. I went and got an El Toro Loco daughter for me. And I seen her, she's a Fort Knox daughter, and he said, uh, hey bro, you know, uh, you can get the Fort Knox daughter too. I didn't know how good she looked until I seen her in person. This, this is the type of dog that looks way better in person. Full tail on her, muscle head, compact back, and this, like I said, this is an art. This is a complete dog right here. Um, extremely hard to make one like this. Usually the back either be long or the rear be weak or they don't have bows or they don't have a good head. She got a good head, she got a good neck, she got a good muscle tone, she got bold, she got a compact back, she got the thick rear rid it, thick rear rid it. Now, this is a, a daredevil a granddaughter on the mama side, and on the daddy side, this is a paintball granddaughter, a direct Fortnite, Fortnite's daughter. This dog has Yoda in it, it has daredevil in it, it has paintball in it, and it has bull Sachi in it. I mean, uh, Bolo in it, Bolo. Fortnite's is our Bolo bred to a paintball daughter, and they took that to a, um, a Yoda granddaughter, I think. Uh, like I said, she's lilac and white, but this is what you want to get. This is the goal right here. You have 40, 50 of these, 20 of these. You have 10, you have five of these. You got some of the best of the best blood. So we got females on females on females. We'll be taking them to uh, the Top Dollar Festival. You want to see some hard dollars, you come to the Top Dollar Festival. Um, Top Dollar Westmont Festival on Instagram. This one of our females, she come in. We finna breed up pretty soon and get some more production. This is what we do every day. Every day we work. You don't see her moving. You don't see her jumping. You don't see her squirming. You see her looking like a, a, a statue. You see her. You want your dog to sit like this and look like this with the tail swinging. It means she happy to be here. It means she like what she doing. You know what I'm saying? It means she knows her. She knows her position. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she have an eight in a day or two. Uh, we've been on the road. This was a house dog. You can tell she a house dog by how she act when she's in the car or when she's outside. She constantly going to go inside. This is uh, one of the best females I've seen. I've owned. You got to see it from the front.
she was screaming low, low to the ground. Like I said, the muscle like a pit bull, a low pit bull with gray bows, still functional, gray head. This is a prime example of uh, uh, one of the best of the best females that's, that's out right now. And you can see the dirt devil in it. When you get to dealing with genetics and dogs, you can look at a dog and, 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 and tell what it's off of if you study the blood long enough. Yeah, a lot of people don't have this quality of dogs, man. We got we got a lot of these. You know what I'm saying? Back to back. East to the west. Subscribe to the channel, man. We're gonna show y'all how to get right. My shit about something like this is ready to bring. So look, this is the thing. When you franchise, my job is to find you dogs like this at a at a field deal price. Mm -hmm. um, show you how to breed it to produce more of these, you know what I'm saying? So if you want some of the best genetics, you want some of the best of the best dogs. You tap in 30 Ridge, you can franchise and get you a membership. And I'm going to find you the best dog at the best price. I'm going to show you how to breed it to produce this quality. Now, if I had one of these and it was Lilac Murr, that would easily be a six-figure dog. You know, and I'm going to show you how to constantly produce that same look, that same style, that same blood. So you can get residual income and you can produce high-quality dogs. Some people get into this not only just for the money, you know. I actually love this dog. You know, I, I like the way she looks. She's very unique. Not many people have these dogs, man. Not many people can make these dogs. Not many people know how to make a buff pit bull that's short and, and stand like that. It's a whole trophy right here. It's a $30, easy $30 dog. You know, and she walking. Y'all say they can't walk, they can't run, they can't breathe. She doing all that. Good house dog, you know. She don't make a big mess. She don't make a lot of noise. That's what you want, a trophy. Somebody said Lady Bear's on dog, but she have her left. She, she stay right there. I got you. You keep saying that same thing. Let's know we're going to have 20 of these bitches. Nah, nah, for real. I'm going to be rich. Yeah. She just got a PG test, so she got a little blood on her own. Um, I PG tested her earlier. Make sure I didn't buy already in heat. She, is not, she wasn't in heat. She's coming in uh, based off her numbers. So, uh, be looking out for, I don't know what I want to name it, but uh, Top Dollar Westmont Festival 2023, October 29th. You're going to see the best of the best dogs in the world, you know? Man, uh, just happy to be here, man. And uh, I was going to say, if anybody had any doubts or any questions about getting a franchise, I, I would say that I'm the testimony. I, I, I've gotten to a brand new house. I'm the first person to take a shit in the toilet off of, sell, <laughs> off of selling dogs, bro. You know what I'm saying? All the selling dogs. I'm gonna clear six figures my first year working with Rich. So I mean, if you did have any doubts, you shouldn't have none. You know, not to mention, you know, um, I left a job and uh, where I was making six figures. I just didn't have no time. With breeding dogs, I'm doing something. I'm going to a job every day that I love. I like animals. I'm actually considering finishing uh, college to be a vet. You get what I'm saying? Um, I like working with animals. Uh, my kids like working with animals. I get to be at home every day and then still make that, really still make more money, you know? So, uh, yeah, if you come franchise, if you, you want to find dogs like this, you got to get in a group chat, you know? Our group chat really be popping with them. And then people go give, you know, uh, working with him, people go give me a better deal just because of, you know, the, 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 the platform and the relationship that they trying to build with him. So let's just say, I might be trying to go uh, buy a dog. They might not feel comfortable letting just anybody at their house. Not saying that I'm just anybody, but if Rich call them or get in contact with them, they go welcome us with open arms. They might try to charge me fifty thousand for something. I bring Rich, now I only got to spend thirty. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I would say the benefits are. You know, I've seen the money. You saw the house. What you think? What you think about the house when you walk in here, man? Absolutely beautiful, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, we, we still working. I just now bred uh, one of my fluffy carriers to a full fluffy. So it's like the hard, all the hard work is really starting to, uh, that pipeline that I built is really starting to overflow my cup. Uh, I dropped two liters last Saturday. Um, Friday, I just now bred my fluffy carrier to a full fluffy. So we're gonna have uh, chocolate trot fluffies on the way. The mama to that dog is about to come in heat. Um, and I got an English Bulldog. Don't nobody in our camp got no English Bulldog. I think one person got one. Uh, I can't exactly remember who. I'm gonna drop so many Englishes on y'all ass too. So, I mean, just you know, tap in with us, tap in with us. I got uh, the youngest breeder in the world right now, Chris. I'm gonna his first litter, so I told him when well, he get rich and famous, and he'd be like, "Rich, you gotta remember me," you know? Yo. I said, get on this YouTube channel, man. Tell him who you is. Yeah, man. Get close to two tone, man.
man. Where you from? Yeah. New Frenchie on the way. Y'all wanna see my I'll tell you something right now. I'm saying Where you from, boss? Oh, that's North Carolina. North Carolina. He called and said he wanted a uh Frenchie. You know how you find my page? Uh my big bro, Killer Cam. The real Killer Cam. Uh he from Carolina? Yeah, he from Charlotte. He from Charlotte. Guy from Charlotte introduced him to my page. He got on my page, seen some dolls he liked. He's finna send a deposit. No play play. East of the West business. A lot of people are in the dogs, you know. You might want to get into this and learn it. Um, I'm going to see you soon, boss. All right, bitch. For real. I'm going to send that shit in. All right. He sent his deposit for his uh, dog. I'm going to fly out there and take it to him, meet him at the airport. So if you're anywhere in the world, you know. We can fly to you pay for the flight, we'll bring your dogs. High quality, you know. From here all the way to wherever you at. Carolina, South Carolina, Dakota, Virginia, Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? New Orleans, uh, Louisiana, uh, Los Angeles, goddamn me. <laughs> it's to the West. But we doing it all from home, like Nick said. My boy said when he met me, he ain't no dog that's going like this or what to do. You know oh. what I'm saying? He linked up with me and I showed him the truth and how to do it, how to succeed in it, and you know, it changed his living situation. You know, we're gonna do the same thing with little Chris. If he don't grow up and be hard headed like Romeo, then he gonna be all right. <laughs> you seen Romeo and Master P doing? But this right here, that female y'all just seen, she gonna be built just like that. But she gonna be white though. She got the blood in her. She got the same girth. She got the same um, muscle tone. She carry the same muscle tone. Only thing that I don't know about is how her head gonna look. But as far as Based off the genetics and how she was bred, she's gonna come out something like that with thick rear, thick fronts, nice size head, good quality female. Only thing we was looking for was those colors. You see how we didn't get it in that litter, um, but we got it in that litter. That's the difference in the genetics in the dads. Now, 30 Junior, I produced him. I knew exactly what he was gonna throw based off how he was bred up. Now, Power, he came from some bull sachi, which is some white blood. Bull sachi is black and white dog. So they not known for throwing a lot of color. They took that to El Toro Loco, a chocolate dog. But since the Bulsachi dog was myrrh, they was able to produce some chocolate myrrh. Now we bred that dog to a lilac, and I was hoping to get more lilac lilac myrrhs based off her being lilac and him being a chocolate myrrh. But he only passed the genetic on to one dog. One of those are lilac myrrh. But I was hoping to get a lot of them. That's why I didn't bring him to her, and I took 30 Junior to her. You know what I'm saying? I took the lilac tri myrrh to the chocolate ghost tri to produce lilac um, tri myrtles and chocolate tri myrtles. I took the lilac to the chocolate, I took the lilac tri to the chocolate myrtle to produce more lilac and chocolate. But based off from having the bull sachi, we threw a lot of solid colors, we threw a lot of, we threw a lot of uh, pie ball, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the structure on these dogs are gonna be phenomenal, man. Um, I know genetics, I know these dogs, I know how to, they was bred, I know what they carry, what they can produce. And this is a prime example of the truth. That's the best one you see, that's where you see these colors. No play play. We got three letters in here right now. Yeah. Hey. My first time saying 21 dogs in one house. And 21 dogs in one house. <laughs> no play play, this one. Motivate me to keep going. Yeah.